Hi, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect to a VPN server in Finland. So this is actually pretty easy with a VPN app. Uh, most companies now have come out with VPN apps. Just a few years ago, you had to kind of connect to everything manually, which was a bit difficult for not-so-tech-savvy users. But as you can see here, I'm using the Viper VPN app. This is uh, actually one of my favorite apps that I use, and it's one of my favorite services because they do have apps for Windows, Mac, Android, and iPhone. So they basically got all their covered, all their bases covered. And as you can see from this screenshot here, they have server locations all over the world, and they have several servers in each location. Actually, over 700 servers total. So let's get started. Uh, you download and basically start up the VPN app. There's really not much to show there. Everything kind of installs by itself. Then from the drop-down menu, we're just going to pick the country we want. In this case, we are going with Finland. I'm going to wait for it to connect. And once we're connected, it says right here, no connection, but our IP address is going to pop in a, up in a second. We can basically surf the internet as if we were in Finland. So we can unblock Finnish websites. Now, a lot of people are going to use this for actually unblocking Finnish websites. Uh, some people may use it for internet privacy. So if I'm in the U.S. and I don't want to look like I have a U.S. IP, I can connect to a Finnish IP. Other people, maybe they're in Finland and they want a private IP, but they don't want a private IP that's outside of the country, then this could be an answer uh, as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's just really that simple. Now, about Viper VPN, um, the basic plan will get you one connection so that you can use it on one device. So right now I'm using it on my Mac. Uh, and then you're going to be able to use it on any of the apps they have available, which is Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Now, the type of connection you'll have is called PPTP. Now, it is still a VPN. It is still secure, but it's not the most secure. Some people say that it's faster. Some people say the, the speed difference is negligible. Right now, I'm using OpenVPN, uh, which is a little bit more. It's got better encryption. It's 256-bit SSL encryption, which is going to be stronger than the PPP version, but just depends what you want. If you do want that extra encryption and extra privacy, then you can go with the Viper VPN Pro account, and that's going to allow you two simultaneous connections, so you can connect to maybe your computer and a phone at the same time, or two people in the same location could uh, essentially use the uh, this same service. And one last thing, if there is a website that you want to visit and it's still recognizing your original IP or still trying to block you, a lot of times all, all you have to do is clear your cookies and cache and close out your browser, then connect to the VPN and restart your browser and you'll be good to go. I've run into this before trying to connect to Hulu actually with the US IP. Okay, thanks for listening and I hope this helped out. I'm going to leave, oh, the last thing I forgot is that Viper VPN actually has a three-day free trial, and I'll link to the free trial in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.